I'm Rashonda Fuller from MySocialMediaMentors.com. Now today I want to do a quick video uh, to talk about how Pinterest guided search can help promote your business. Now many of you may, may know by now Pinterest added an enhancement to their search category or to, to their search feature a short time ago. Now again this feature is called guided search and with guided search comes many benefits. But today, I want to talk about just a couple of those benefits. But before I do, real quickly, I want to go over why they made this enhancement in the first place. Now, according to Ben Silverman, um, who is the CEO of Pinterest, this enhancement is to help users come across more relevant content as well as to dis and help them to discover new content that they didn't even know that they were looking for. Now, this is where it gets good for entrepreneurs because with this enhancement, users are more likely to come across pins when they uh, come across your pins when they're searching for specific items. Now, in a way, Pinterest has made it so much easier for your pins to be found by users and by kind of guiding users toward narrowing their focus. Now, this takes out that feeling of being overwhelmed by the hundreds of thousands of items that can show up when users are searching for items such as yours. Now, with this new ease of use, users are more likely to be shown more of what they want and they aren't feeling overwhelmed while doing so. So they can spend more time repinning, sharing and uh, sharing your, your images or sharing images and ultimately buying exactly what it is that you have to offer. Now really quickly, I want to go over, you know, a quick example of how this works. So as you can see my mouse here, I'm going to go into the search field and I've already done this. So I'm going to search for, uh, let's say cocktail dresses, right? Let's say a woman's out there. She's searching for cocktail dresses, uh, to, to wear to a party. Okay. So she goes on Pinterest and she simply enters like you saw me do just a moment ago, cocktail dresses. Well, with guided search, as you can see here, follow my mouse, it prompts her to take it a step further, which is helping her to narrow her focus, right? So again, uh, she goes on, she enters cocktail dresses. Now with the new Gothic search, make the feature, it's prompting her to narrow her focus and select exactly what it is that she's looking for. So at here, you can see, you know, some of the following choices. You see a sexy cocktail dress. Do you want a short cocktail dress? Uh, you know, black cocktail dress. I mean, you name it, that it's, it's here, right? You get the, you get the picture. Okay. Now this is, huge for you from a business owner standpoint because for starters if you're naming your images correctly when you're saving them to your saving them as files to your computer and if you're describing your pins correctly then your pins are more likely to be seen when someone is searching for exactly what it is that you have to offer so let's go through this I search cocktail dress and let's say I want a sexy cocktail dress so it's going to do the search over for me. It's narrowing it down a bit. Now let's say I want a sexy black cocktail dress. So as you can see, little icons here, they give me all sorts of choices. So I'm going to pick black because again, I want to kind of narrow my focus. I don't want all that other stuff. I want exactly what it is that I'm looking for. So you see a couple of them snuck in on us, like the green dress here and the little white dress. But for the most part, Pinterest is giving us exactly what we're looking for. Black, sexy cocktail dresses. Let's take, take it a step further. Let's see if we can get a short cocktail dress. A black, sexy, short cocktail dress. And let's see what we get. Bam! So if you are in the market to sell sexy, black, short cocktail dresses, then that is what this is what your users going to see when they're searching for what it is that you have to offer. Now, this is why keywords are so critical when naming your images and describing your pins. Both of these components make a huge difference in Pinterest search. So here are a couple of pro tips to help your images show up more in guided search. Number one, don't pin images that are saved as, you know, a generic file name. For instance, I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean. Or I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when I say that. So we're going to pick one of these images here. Um, I'm trying to, oh, that's nice that right, right here, but, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. So let me focus. Okay. So here is a short, sexy black cocktail dress, right? So I'm going to click on that 
And in no way am I affiliated with whomever is marketing this merchandise. I just want to show you for the sake of what I'm trying to teach you here, how this all works. So again, we're putting ourselves in the business owner's chair as we are, and we are talking about saving images. So say you're going to upload this image, right? Take a few steps back. What you want to do is here, let's say you got this image and... Oh goodness, it won't let me do it with this one, so I gotta try another image. I'm going to try another image that's pinned directly from a website. I like this. Let's see if this is going to work for us in the manner that we need. All right, so that's not going to work. That's an eBay image. All right, I want to try this again. I wanna to try to find an image that will allow me to save it to my computer. That's my whole goal of what I'm doing here. Bam, got it. All right, so we wanna save this image, right? So we're gonna click uh, File, Save As, okay? Now, if you're in the market, and we're just using this as an example, to promote or market your black, sexy, short cocktail dresses, you would not let it default and just save the image as you know, another number in your system. What you want to do is save it as black dash short dash sexy dash cocktail dash dress, right? And when you do this, um, then that makes it easier for search engines as well as, and you can hit save here. Uh, I'm not going to save it for, um, you know, I, I don't want the image, but I just wanted to show you how it should look. By breaking it up like that, that helps it to be uh, more searchable, easier for the search engines as well as Pinterest search to find when they're searching for images such as yours. So you saw how I did that. You don't want all the words to clump together if you have multiple words. If you have multiple words, separating them with a dash helps search engines to crawl and find the images that are related to each of the words that you are saving, right? So that's how you want to do that. Now, number two, once you've saved your image, and I'm going to cancel this because, I, again, I don't want to save it. This isn't my image or my product. I just wanted to show you as an example. All right, now, once you've saved this file to your computer and you're ready to upload that this image into Pinterest, what you want to do is be sure to use the exact name that you use to save that file or uh, save that, excuse me, the exact name that you use to name that image, you want to use that exact name in Pinterest. So again, I'm going to, let's just say pin this pin, right? So what I am going to do when I do that, I'll hit pin it. And in your case, you would be uploading it, right? However, we want to go ahead here and I'm going to do this under fashion. I have a fashion board. Okay. So what I would do, since we named the file or named the image, uh, you know, black, short, sexy, cocktail dress. All right. Now that consistency will make it even, um, will help your, help to promote your pins even more because again, you're being consistent with what you named your file. You're being consistent with how you describe that image. So when someone goes in and I can say that, that's pretty cute. Okay, so when someone goes in to search for what it is that you have to offer, you've just strengthened your, op your chances to be found in search by doing those two things. I want to go over them again really quickly. Number one, you, when you save your image to your computer, when you save it and name that image, save it as exactly what it is that you're pinning. You want to describe it using exactly whatever, uh, what, whatever the image is, right? And then number two, in your description, you want to use that exact description in your, uh, or those keywords in your description when you're find, when you're saving your pin. So this will help when someone is searching for what it is that you have to offer because not, number one, you've taken care of the image itself and you've named it as that. So no matter where it goes at on the web, it will come up on the major search engines. And number two, when someone is on Pinterest searching for exactly what it is that you have to offer because you've done those two steps, named your, named your uh, image as well as described your image the same, it will strengthen your, uh, your chances of coming up in search. All right. Well, that's really all I have for today. Um, I just wanted to go over that with you because this is huge for us. I think it's an opportunity that a lot of us are missing when we're saving our own original content that we are promoting. Okay. So again, that's all I have for today. But for more Pinterest tips and daily inspiration, feel free to join me at www.pinterest.com forward slash my social mentors 
Or you can follow me on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash my social media mentors. All right, everyone, until next time, love and light. This is Rashonda Fuller of My Social Media Mentors. Have a blessed day.